Uh, welcome back. I'm so sorry I keep cutting off, so I'm not going to give up. This is the last uh, example we almost cut up right, right here. So we graphed it, and the, the, the domain is a ne between neg so negative 5 to the left. There's a gap. There's a positive, so negative 5. So this is the domain, and the range is a negative infinity to positive infinity. So again, um, if the x squared term is positive, your the main axis gonna be x-axis, so gonna your uh, the branches gonna open left and right. Let me show you one more example. Then um, I'll show you when exactly your hyperbola is gonna open upward and downward. So here's a number eighteen from your textbook. So number eighteen is not in standard format. So remember, the standard format is this: x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equal 1. So here's number 18, x squared minus 4y squared equals 16. So to make this one 1, you must divide everything by 16. So this is uh, x squared over 4 squared, that's a 16, and minus 4 over 16, 1 over 4, so then y squared over 2 squared. So 4 over 16, 1 over 4, and then 4 is a 2 squared, so this is 1. That's your standard format. So now you can tell from here, if this one is the x squared term is positive, so we are expecting your hyperbola is going to, the branch is going to open left and right. So here is the first one, vertices. So this is the this is the a. So it's the negative four comma zero and four comma zero. That's your vertices. And uh, um, the foci gonna be. So is the c square equals a square plus b square. So c square equals um, this is the sixteen plus four is twenty. So c squared equals 20 and c equals plus minus, uh, not plus minus, um, 5 times 4 is 20, so c equals uh, 2 root 5. Okay, because 5 times 4 is 20, and 20, it becomes, the uh, square root of 4 is 2, so 2 root 5. So you're, it's going to be plus or minus 2 root 5, comma 0. That's your focus points. Okay, so let's graph, or oh, also asymptotes. So this is y equals plus or minus b over ax. So in this case is a, is a 2 over 4. So in this case, it's going to be 2 over 4 plus minus 2 over 4x, which is y equals plus minus half x. That's going to be your the asymptote. So here is the graph going to look like. Roughly, rough sketch. Here is the, let's plot those focus point first. Or you can just go the asymptotes. That's your asymptote. So it is a negative 4, it is a positive 4, and uh, your graph is going to look like something like this, this, and it will go this, and this is your focus point here. So this point is a negative 2 root 5, and this point is a positive 2 root 5. And that's your, how you graph along your, the horizontal axis. Okay, so... I will make one more. Uh, I'm afraid it's gonna cut off again, so let's not go over five minutes. So I will do one more video when we will switch. So y squared over b squared, and this one other side. So so it will be your main axis gonna be uh, vertical. So it will open. So branches are gonna open upward and the downwards. Okay. So again, the homework is nine to nineteen. On this last couple of videos. We only cover when your branches open left to right because x squared term is positive. So I'm so sorry again for the cutting up. We almost done. We have one more lecture after this, which is uh, 6.4 on Thursday, and that's it. So we're gonna do only six chapters. I wish we had more time, but I think we did great. So just keep it up. Thank you. We'll see you uh, soon for the next uh, objective. Still 6.3. So I'll show you the second objective when you're. The branches open upward and the downward. Thank you.